Hi, welcome to open addressing, other name is closed hashing. This can be used when we have enough contiguous memory locations in the given hash table uh, to store all the keys. That is, uh, we have more number of memory locations that is 0 to m minus 1 than number of input we are having with us. So, the, if the input is less than the number of buckets available in the hash table, we can store all the keys in the table itself. We don't need any linked list like in the separate chaining. So, uh, here we can generalize the hash function for open addressing in the form of key and value uh, pair and also probe number. So, two arguments are important in the open addressing. One is the key value and probe number. That means number of searching, searching number. So, that probe number is started from searching 0 at searching uh, first uh, step and searching second step and m minus 1 number of searching. That is the table size. Okay. So, here uh, we will use the probe sequence like as I told you h of k comma 0th step, uh, k comma first step until k comma m minus 1 number of step. So, 0 we are having m number of sequences to search the value uh, or to insert the value into the uh, any index. Here, uh, insert operation is used to compute the hash value for given input key. The based upon the hash value, then uh, that index, okay, that key value, that index will be used to store the input key which is going to be stored in the hash table. But if already data is available, for example, you look at that, we are having uh, 69. So, 69, the table size is here 13. So, 0 to 12. So, 0 to 12 so 13 number of buckets available here so we are uh, input key is 69 then i am inserting into the table then uh, 69 mod table size 3 13 we are having the index number 4 so 69 is inserted at the index number 4 then uh, so next data i am going to insert 72 into the hash table. So, here 72 mod 13 7, right? So, in the index number 7, I am going to insert the value 72. Then, third value I am going to insert into the hash table by using the open addressing 79 mod 13. Here, I am having the index value 1. So, in the index value 1, I am inserting the 79. Then uh, 98 uh, fourth value uh, 98 mod 13 1. So, in the index number 1, I am having the value 79 already. So, collision is occurring. Okay. Collision is occurring. So, if it is the case, what we have to do? We have to probe uh, until the next empty bucket is found in the uh, given uh, hash table. You look at here, the next empty bucket is available in this location. So, the, here we are having the next empty bucket in the fifth index. This is not empty. Uh, that means it is blocked. That is not a memory location. So, 4 is already uh, filled. So, next empty memory location is fifth memory location. So, in the fifth memory location, I am uh, adding the value that that is inserting the value 98. So, the next free memory location is fifth memory location. So, there we have added the 98. Then next data I am going to insert 14. So, 14 is here uh, we are getting uh, 1 is the index value, right? So, here again we are searching the index value 1 which is already filled, right? Already filled with 79. Then next we are searching the free memory location. Uh, the Here 4 also filled. 5 also filled, so 7 also filled. So now next memory location, free memory location is 9. So in the 9, we are going to store the value 14, right? So 14 is stored the uh, stored at the index number 9. So that is the free memory location as of now, contiguous. That is should be second contiguous, not a random. 
continuously that contiguous memory locations we have to check is it free or not then next one is uh, 50 so now the 50 mod 13 is 11 at the 11th index so this is free so it's, it's the, it since it is free we can store the value at the at this um, 11th index so now uh, the thing is once em empty bucket is found then we can insert the key that's what wherever free slot is available in the contiguous memory locations if already slot is filled in this case okay then we can insert the key the probing is performed in accordance with the technique used for open addressing here the search time is depends on the length of the probe sequence right so we will check the next data next data like that contiguously right all the memory locations will be searched so number of times we are searching so that is the uh, running time for searching the data right next one is deletion operation in the open addressing here uh, the key to be searched and then deleted so now i want to delete the value 72 right I, I want to delete the value 72 72 mod 13 so it is the 7 so the key will be first calculated and searched so at, it is searched the index number 7 which is having the value we are searching and checking is there value available or not yes it value is available then we will delete this value after deleting okay after deleting the key the bucket will be marked as a deleted so like this you look at that we have marked as a deleted in this location so it should be uh, marked as a deleted then uh, when next time when you are inserting right when next time when you are inserting if bucket is marked as a deleted that means it is an empty bucket okay so if any bucket is marked with the value deleted okay then that is that indicates that bucket is empty bucket so suppose if i want to store the value uh, now again uh, some value suppose uh, I, I want to store uh, the 13 okay so 13 is here uh, index number 13 mod uh, again here 13 okay it is 0 so 0 is now uh, blocked so next empty memory location is 7 so here i can store the 13 that means deleted means it is empty free slot free slot okay so in the free slot we can store the value and searching operation here in the searching operation uh, to search a desired key again we have to apply the hash function h equal to k mod uh, table size m right then uh, we will calculate the hash value using the hash value we will uh, find out the uh, desired uh, key if the target key is uh, found then we can access that key otherwise we have to search the uh, uh, we have to search the key pawn right suppose i am searching uh, uh, 72 right searching 72 so it will check this index uh, first 72 right then this uh, here uh, 72 mod uh, 13 okay 72 mod 13 so here uh, 72 mod 13 is uh, 7 okay so now uh, which is checking the 7 which is uh, uh, not having the data which is not having the data then what it will do it will check the next lo location right then next location so like that it will keep on check until m minus one number of slots okay again it will go up okay that is called wrap up that is called wrap up right it will check the in the above also because it may be stored in the above also right in the free memory location so it will check all the empty memory locations and also uh, data uh, which are stored in the table okay then only it will say the key is does not found in the hash table during searching the search is not terminated on encountering the bucket marked as deleted that's what i told you you look at that even though there is a deleted uh, is available in that location 7 it will not stop the searching operation it will check the next memory location because deleted means that slot is free okay the it does not mean uh, there is no data available in the hash table okay so that is the thing denotes this uh, point the search terminates only after the 
रिकवर्ड की इज अवेलेबल और एम टी बकेट इज फाउंड राइट आफ्टर चेकिंग द एम माइनस वन नंबर ऑफ मेमोरी लोकेशन सो दिस इज द वे टू परफॉर्म डिफरेंट ऑपरेशन बाई यूसिंग द क्लोज दैशिंग और ओपन अड्रेसिंग थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग